Hi there, it's Nate from Target again, and I'm sitting here with Larry Jacobs, who's the director of the Center for the Study of Politics and Governance at the Hubert H. Humphrey Institute for Public Policy at the University of Minnesota. I know that's a mouthful, but uh, Larry's up to huge things, and Larry's been uh, again just one of the, like one of the most important partners uh, I have throughout the world. Um, uh, done so much together, and um, as I as I emailed you earlier. Uh, an event like this just couldn't be possible without your, you being in attendance. So thank you, first of all, for being here. Well, it's great. This is an example about how it is you bring people together to make things happen. Yeah, in fact, you know, to that point, can you talk a little bit about um, the word governance in, in the center? You know, because you know, public policy schools oftentimes talk about government, and they talk about politics, but not always governance. Can you give a little shape to that? Governance is a way for us to, in a very quick way, say public policy is not about government, though it's part of that. Mm -hmm. It's also about the ways in which folks as citizens will say, hey, I'm not going to buy toys from China and have lead in it. That's a policy. Absolutely. Or it's about uh, community organizations saying, hey, we don't want to um, uh, put up with um, uh, schools that don't work or uh, women are being beat up, beaten up in the privacy of their homes. Mm -hmm. um, this is all part of governance. And in Minnesota and a lot of the things that we're doing here tonight, it's about putting people together to create policies, to create ways in which we can handle the collective problems we face in our communities. Yeah, I love that. In fact, you know, one of the things that Larry and I talk about often is that, you know, the word policy for so many, uh, it's an automatic default that it's about laws and it's about regulations, uh, it's about going to the Capitol. And so many things that you just described um, you know, it really is about direct action. You know, the the um, lead uh, in toys issue. You know, um, by the time the law was passed, the change had already been made because Target was invested, uh, for instance, in that uh, in that instance, was it really invested uh, with the consumers. We didn't want those things on our shelves as well. We were just as shocked, just as upset, and um, having that conversation outside of a capital. Uh, was what made the, the change happen so rapidly. And the law that came afterwards really kind of memorialized all that. And you know, it's so interesting. You look at issues like uh, violence against women mm -hmm. or child abuse. These things, if you go back to the 1970s, it was considered appropriate to hit your kid or, you know, domestic dispute was private. Right, right. We now have an understanding in our communities that this is not okay. Right. And it's inappropriate. And the laws, in a lot of ways, followed behind that. Yeah. But you know, and it all comes from uh, one of the things I love about uh, the center and why I've uh, been uh, such a huge supporter of it, it is about creating a different kind of conversation. There is an, a kind of conversation that happens in a capital, and it's an important one, but it's purposefully designed for adversarialism. Mm -hmm. And the kind of spaces that you and I get to create under this banner of governance is really a, a, a different conversation model. It's one of the reasons, again, Larry, why I'm just so pleased that you're here tonight because you really are a pioneer in creating those new spaces. Well, I've got to say, um, we, we work with a lot of people. There's no one like you. Yeah. You are right. uh, absolutely a visionary in thinking about uh, ways in which doing good is good business. Absolutely, yeah. And um, that's a, for a lot of folks who think bottom line, they think only bottom line. Right. And what they don't understand is that there's a kind of collective benefit to the bottom line, and that collective benefit yeah. is good business. No doubt. I mean, uh, I always like to say, you've heard me say it before, that unless you run guns or drugs, no one does good business in a bad <laughs> neighborhood. You know, I don't care if you're a school or if you're a church or a nonprofit, no one does well in a bad neighborhood. So yes, you might have that short-term self-interest, um, but ultimately your, your self-interest is much better taken care of in that common good expression. So thanks so much for all the work that I get to do with you and thanks for being here tonight. It's great to be with you, Nate. Thank you.